Hello everyone, this is Venom Geek Media here, and we are here today with another Bionicle mock vlog. And today we will be looking at Argus the Corrupted. Right, so Argus the Corrupted is in fact a hero, a sort of a side hero character post Praetorian universe. Uh, basically, he was a member of the Order of Matanui, um, and he ended up uh, kind of going rogue, doing his own thing, and doing a lot of uh, work protecting Matoran in the outlying regions and sort of the outlands, uh, fighting off dangerous Rahi and bandits and all that sort of thing. Um, so be being a bit of a Rahi hunter. Um, and, you know, he, he got corrupted when he was a he was in a battle with a Protodermis dragon. The Protodermis dragon attacked him um, and fired a beam of energized Protodermis at him. Uh, it didn't kill him, but it has rendered him corrupted. He is slowly dying. Slowly but steadily he is dying, but he also means that his nerve endings have been um, singed and that the Protodermis is also making him stronger till the day he dies. So he has some interesting powers, you know, he's got increased healing abilities, a bit stronger, a bit faster. Um, and that's about it. Right, so in terms of other things, he's got, he's got a, so, in terms of features, he is, he's got these blades, these sort of hunting blades, which can switch out, and I'll show that later. He's also got a blaster here, a corrosion cannon. Um, on his head, he wears the mask of heat vision, corrupted, because we already have the Ikaku. So this is the mask of heat vision, I'm saying. Um, that's the basic sort of story background information of the mock. Now, let's talk about the build. The build is quite, no, not quite different, very different. Uh, so you're probably looking at the front of it and saying, well, that's the Stormer Torso from First Year Hero Factory, so it's a pretty average hero build. No, it's a Metru build. So basically you just stick that onto the front of the, mech, of the Metru Torso piece. Um, CCBS Fusion as well, which works wonderfully. Um... As well as that, being a Metro build, you also see, probably, you'll see him from his arms. He's got ball joints. He's got ball joints. And he also has the gear function. He's a basically um, comparable to a 2015 Toa Master um, in, in his functionality, actually. Um, the leap from Toa Metru to Toa Master, very minimal. They're both very similar. Um, and I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i talk about that in a second. Um, I'll talk about that now, nicely segue, segues in. Um, so essentially, it's your standard Metru gearbox, and you just put on this ball joint at the end with the stopper. And that gives you flexibility, so if I hold this... He's got astounding flexibility, and he can still utilize his function, which is incredible. It's, I won't say revolutionary, because that's cliche, but it's evolutionary. It's very good. It's a great way to reutilize the Metro build in another innovative way, um, I think, considering the last sort of thing that you could do with the Metro build was using the... Um, sort of these pieces, hang on, just grabbing one, these pieces as arm fitters, um, and that allowed you Inika-like mobility. This allows you not only Inika-like mobility with the old Bionicle system, and it's far better integrated than the uh, 2015 gearbox, but it also, uh, you know, is using old stuff. So it's a great fusion. It's a really nice fusion. Um, another function, obviously he has a mask that can pop off, if you call that a function, but obviously also his blades, 
you can change them out they form a thing I don't know what they form but they form something cool like a shield sort of thing it just looks cool okay um, or you know it's just a double-ended like spear or blade you know it looks really cool uh, and it is a, you know it's something in it the function I just I can't praise this enough just the way it works it works it integrates so seamlessly uh, my recommendation is do this only if you have that's that stopper um, axle piece because otherwise you're going to struggle to um, make it hold together bits are going to fall off and it's not going to be good so far this has performed fairly well so that's basically it. what are the pros and what are the cons right pros he has a very consistent color scheme containing white lime trans or trans lime and neutral tones of black and light grey. Pretty simple, but very consistent, very striking, and it all goes together very nicely. He still looks corrupted, but he looks very unified as well. Um, so he's got a cool colour scheme. Uh, the build is very innovative, it's very different. Um, the function works superbly, and he has your standard points of articulation and he articulates like an Anika. He doesn't uh, articulate like a Metru, he articulates like an Anika. So, you know, points for that. Um, got great points of articulation. Um, very consistent car scheme, very solid build. Very impressive overall look. I particularly like these pipes coming around the side. Just gives him a bit more of a you know, cyborg damaged look. Uh, the use of the trans pieces is also really nice. There's good coverage of, on the back as well of his legs. Uh, he has his shooter. Um, I mean, he's pretty small, but he was just, I did kind of just build him as sort of something to go with the mask because I didn't really have anything one with mask, but also just as a bit of a test bed really for that system, which I've been thinking about for a long time and I've got to say he does it very well your standard cons are pins you know blue pins red axles you know the drill uh, there's an open axle there um, he's a bit simple he's a he is just a metro build some of the pieces particularly this hero chess piece are actually quite loose in their connections they won't it's not going to stay in very easy. It could pop out quite easy. Um, the gearbox, no, it's fine. And the arms might fall out. Um, but really, that's no different to the 2015 Masters. And there's not as much weight going on in here. Um, I'm just trying to think any other cons. I mean, no, I, I can only nitpick. This is a very solid mock. It's a very solid looking character. He looks very cohesive and cool. And he has a very... And his look very much works. Um, you know, that's all I can say. I, you know, and I just I cannot praise the system enough. This I would say is you, if you want to combine flexibility with po flexibility, posability with function, uh, with elegance and grace. This beats 2015, um, the 2015 gearbox. This is the best way to do it. Metro build, metro build all the way. That's all I can really say. Um, thank you all for watching and please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.